Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Ian. Yes, I know I have my traveler today. Um, I had another cup of coffee before this, but what happened was my cup of coffee actually got a little cold as I was waiting for things to happen. Uh, I was trying to do a couple things before I started recording this, and for whatever reason, um, for whatever reason, it, it just took forever. Well, it's really because I was uploading a video and I hadn't finished yet and yada yada yada, a couple of different things all at the same time basically. So it gave me a little bit of grief. So because of that, I was uh, delayed and my coffee got cold. So I just put it in my travel, change up, change up to my traveler. I'm going to take it to work anyway. So, but uh, the way today's going, I might end up drinking that before I get to work. <laughs> Who knows? So anyhow, so this would be a happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. You guys celebrate Thanksgiving so late. What's up with that? In Canada here, we celebrated it like a while ago now in October. So it's always funny when people are like, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm like, dude, we had our Thanksgiving a while ago. Apparently, um, not everybody realizes that we have our Thanksgiving early. Um, but I don't know. Everyone's, I don't, I'm not sure why we celebrate it earlier than you guys. I can never remember the reason why. I want to say it's just to do the harvest season itself, um, but I don't know for sure. Also, lots of other random things have happened. Uh, let's see. Steam sale has started, so if you're looking for a specific game, um, now's the track time to t take a look for it. There are quite a few uh, Steam sales on for various games. I saw 60, 70, 50 percent off, depending on what you're looking for. Like, I think I have like 12 or 13 games on my wish list, and I think like you know more than half of them are on sale right now for at least 40 percent or more. I don't have time to play all those games. Like, I have quite a few. Um, I would load it up, but my internet is really slow this morning just because I've been uploading that video. It's taken a while, so. Anyways, uh, hopefully I should have my new place for the next three weeks or so, and then I'll have better internet uh, then, so then I can get in my dad's hair, and then he can uh, he can have his internet at his speed, and I'll have my internet at my speed, so. He doesn't do a lot of uploading, so it's not a big deal for him, but one megabyte upload speed is slow. Anyways, uh, what else is new? Uh, but keep an eye on deals for Black Friday, which is uh, when this goes live, it would have been the day before, I guess. I'm recording this on Black Friday, so I'll have to take a look at what deals are on for computer stuff. I noticed some, th some things from Newegg that are on sale, so I may have to take a look and see if I can piece together a computer with some of the deals that are on there. So we'll have to see. I don't know, I'm just taking a look to see how much. So I think when I first pieced it together, it was about $1,600, $1,700. So I want to see if we can get it closer to like thirteen or twelve hundred dollars would be kind of nice. But uh, the biggest piece, of course, is the GTX 1080, uh, which I don't necessarily need. Uh, and some people are saying, well, if you wait a little bit longer, you'll get there were some better, better video cards. That's the problem. There's always something better like down the road. You wait three months or something better. You wait four months, there's something even better. Like you buy it today, tomorrow or something new. So I don't know. The system is pretty. Uh, I don't know. It's it looks. I don't know. People are take saying it looks decent enough. So, for my purposes, in reality, my computer still functions fairly well right now. But I've noticed some of the newer games that are coming out now. It's uh, it's not functioning as well as I would like. Um, and then of course, Farm Sim 2019, whatever that. I guess that'll be the next one that comes out. I don't know. My computer should be able to run that probably right now, fine. But you don't know what else is going to come out yet. So like, you just don't know. And also, as I mentioned before, uh, with VR on the horizon, I know some people are saying VR is not, they're not even worth thinking about at this point, and it's going to be a fad. I know Farmer Beavis said it's going to fad, but I don't know. It's hard to say, really. I just want to be prepared for that. So if I want to try VR, for example, I'll be able to do that. Um, so I think that the the thing that will be difficult will be how do you how do you record VR and show what it's like uh, to you guys sort of thing, which is why I would have been looking into VR a little bit. I don't know, I guess it would be like having the the cam up here and you know, playing some sort of virtual reality flight sim or something like that. I don't know, I don't have Oculus Rift or anything like that, but if I were to get this new system, it would be quote unquote VR ready, but it's not why I'm getting it specifically, but it's one of those things where it's nice to have uh, in the future sort of thing. So the big thing is when you're recording and playing the game at the same time, that's what's really difficult on your computer sometimes. So depending on the game, of course, and depending on what your computer setup is like as well. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep an eye and see how much the price of the system decreases, then depending on the price of it, I may pull the trigger or not. We'll see. 
I'm not in a rush. I can always get it at Christmas too. There'll be probably similar deals at Christmas time. So usually those are the best times to pick up electronics, Christmas or Black Friday. Um, January is a good time as well sometimes just because you have people buying stuff. Uh, you have people buying stuff. Um, what would it be? I guess the CES, uh, Consumer Electric Show, is that in January? I think it is. So usually when they release the newer things, the old things go on sale, uh, or at least drop in price a little bit. So like a GTX 1080 Ti right now might be you know, $700 now, but then at that time might be $600. Who knows? But like I said before, if you wait for with computer stuff, it's always there's always gonna be something better. Always, always, always. <gasps> Anyways. Farm Sim, I've been, ch I've been enjoying the... Uh, I've been enjoying the Platinum Edition on the server. It's been a lot of fun, actually. Uh, change of scenery a little bit. We had Naxi Valley on there for quite a long time, so I was able to check that out uh, on the server. It's been fun. People have been uh, enjoying the sugarcane harvesting, although not. I don't think anybody really enjoys the single row one. I think everyone agrees that the uh, multi-row is definitely the way to go, just because why would you go for anything less, really? Um, and then the other thing is the Creative Mesh add-on, the straw add-on has come out. Well... Uh, hasn't come out yet. I think it comes out November 30th. So I guess it would be next week. Um, so I got a preview copy of it and uh, that video should have gone live yesterday. So give me your feedback below. I know some people think it's kind of on the expensive side and some people think, no, it's it's, you know, it's priced okay. Like hey, it'll be curious to see what precedent this, uh, what precedent this add-on adds for other add-ons in the future maybe. Uh, so that'll be the kind of the curious thing to see how that works out. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of, kind of curious about is to see how that kind of works together. Also Spud, I've included the famous ladder for you again. Um, yeah, that's what uh, that's what that's what, what's kind of going on in the farm sim world. Creative mesh add-on or the straw add-on. I know uh, Simulate did a game, uh, did a video on it. So, you know, every everybody, almost every farm sim P person has done a, a video on it, which is fine. Everyone's taking a different perspective. I honestly haven't watched any videos of it, so I had to do the old figure out how it works for yourself sort of idea, which is usually the best way to figure out things, um, because when you figure out those things, uh, you remember them a lot better. That's been my experience, at least. So, yeah, oh, yeah, that has been. Also, if you've never tried these Contigo mugs, they're pretty good. I've broken a couple already, mind you, but um, that's because I was walking down the street and tossing it up in the air, and the lid hit the sidewalk and busted it. So that's totally my bad. Anyhow, I think that'll be it for me for today. I need to get to work now. I've seen the time. I've uh, I spent a lot of time fiddling this morning trying to get things working together. So. I am done for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, enjoy the coffee.